Okay, people, we're back, and we're into episode... Blimey, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... This is episode 10. Wow, this is going to be quite a long Let's Play. That's cool. I wanted to do something a bit longer for a change. Um, Although, trust me, my next Let's Play, depending on if I do one between... Where am I? Yeah. If I decide to do one between now and the game I'm hoping to do... Assuming it comes out when it's supposed to come out, I don't know. But anyway, long story short, um, that will be a very long Let's Play. Okay. <sighs> main ingredient of the fuel appears to be a nitro compound. Running will result in a fatal explosion. Now, for the record, I don't actually know if using your weapon or being attacked by a monster causes you to explode. You could probably get away with firing your weapon, I suppose. But, truth be told, I've always wiped out the enemies in this area, so... You know, I, I've i never really tested the theory. Because, of course, by the time you get to this point in the game, particularly if you're like me and you play through without really saving, if, you know, you play through this whole way, you don't want to die now, here, without, um, you know, after coming all that way. It's, it's not good. You don't want to have to do that. So, yeah. I, I've never tested the theory. If someone wants to correct me on that, they are welcome to. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, we're into the home stretch now. I This might be the last episode, in fact. Oh, yeah, that's right. You put it in automatically. <sighs> Breathe a sigh of relief. Uh, this might be the last episode, or maybe it'll... Go into another one. Guess it depends on how long it ends up taking. Yay! All three. We can save Chris now, too. Because we're nice and we like saving people's lives. You can die. Woo! Power. We have the power. Oh yeah, I almost completely forgot to mention. Um, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you will know that I'm rather um, I'm rather complete when it comes to making. Uh, um, playlists of the various games that I play and um, I do that quite a lot actually because I like to keep things nice, neat, ordered, structured it's all good and one of um, you may have noticed actually that a new um uh, playlist has shown up based on videos that I haven't done. The playlist is called Breaking Ponies. Now, there's a long, complicated explanation for that, but frankly, I feel that you should just go and check it out yourself. Now, okay, I'll, um, uh, go, please, please, please go and check it out. It's this podcast that I've been doing with my good friend uh, Zero, who you may remember from my Resident Evil 2 um, Let's Play. He sort of helped me to guest host that, because I wasn't sure at the time if I could keep talking for as long as I actually ended up doing. Barry. Could have at least waited up. Well, let's go. 
and it's called Breaking Ponies uh, because the two of us sit down and talk about the shows My Little Pony, obviously, ponies in the name, but we also talk about the show Breaking Bad. Now, I want to point out, this was entirely Zero's idea. He wanted to do a podcast about two shows that were completely and totally opposite to each other. Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Ooh, he has a silver serpent match, and I got that. For everything. I and the idea of the podcast is... Will be in danger is everything I tell it, was, it was the point of to take two completely opposite shows and talk about them next to each other. Well, you should and to, to look at the, frankly, rather odd parallels... That come up between the show. Why it's rather stars? bizarre, actually, now that we've really gotten into it. There are ten... Car- I think... Uh, there are ten episodes, actually, uh, available in the playlist at the moment. Um, I haven't posted them on my channel, because Zero is the one who's been doing all the editing, so he's been the one who's doing all the posting. I just kind of come in... See, how it works is that one of us is an expert of Breaking Bad, having seen all the episodes. Another one of us is an episode, uh, is a fan of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic series. That's why Breaking Ponies. So, Ponies, Breaking Bad, Psychedelic Color Ponies and Drugs, the two go together quite well. And it's time for show and tell. Um, yeah, we, we just talk about, about it, and I'm not going to tell you who's the expert of which. Uh, go and watch the show and find out. If you are going to watch it, I suggest you watch several episodes. It takes a few episodes for us to really get into our stride. And for us to, you know, because we get a few episodes under our belt, it gives us a chance to talk about things at length. Um, so hopefully that'll all be good. Uh, please go and check it. We could do with some subscribers who actually, uh, you know, we could do with some uh, views, I should say. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. <laughs> Barry! Um, what the hell was I saying? And, um, so I'm getting distracted by pretty pictures and colorful no, sounds. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my and friends again. And so, we, we just talk about it. We bitch and moan about stupid things they do in the shows. We talk about the bizarre parallels between the two. And there are a number of parallels, actually. Um, which is really very funny. Um, oh, dear. Damn it! <laughs> Jill and Barry together in hell. You want a piece of me? What? Premature. No, Barry! <laughs> Anyway, please go and check out Breaking Ponies. We need some views. We need some comments. We've had, like, no fucking comments from people at all. And it's, it's getting a little annoying because we've been... Obviously, we're recording them and then posting them in a sort of... Um, And down he goes. It always takes six. And you can check Wesker here for a secret thing which sort of connects the first game to the rest of the series and all that other good stuff. Barry. Mentioning Barry. Alexia Ashford and all those other things. Uh, you're okay. Uh, Jill, sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. He's alive! First, let's just get out of here. It's weird how, like, Wesker was died in the first game, originally. 
and then was absent for two, was absent for three, was absent for all the Resident Evil games, and then suddenly came back in Code Veronica, just out of absolutely nowhere. In fact, one of the weird things I found out about Resident Evil is that, did you know that Resident Evil 3 Nemesis wasn't meant to be Resident Evil 3? It was supposed to be Resident Evil Nemesis, and Resident Evil Code Veronica was supposed to be Resident Evil 3. But Capcom had done a deal with um, Sony to release three numbered PlayStation games on the PS1. And th th num three numbered PlayStation games in the Resident Evil series. So they had to do Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. And that's why Resident Evil 3 Nemesis feels like a side mission, whereas Resident Evil Code Veronica feels so connected to the plot, it's because they were bleeding while meant to be. Um, which is an interesting thing that you might not have known, but it was actually true. They were supposed to be connected, and they ended up not being. I think we can get away with that. Anyway, I think we're going to be able to finish up the game within this episode, so yay for that. Time to rescue Chris! <coughs> oh, excuse me, I've been talking for like... It's coming up for three and a half hours. No, three and a quarter, sorry. Um hours straight and my voice is starting to break so uh, <coughs> you'll have to forgive me if I cop a bit more than normal down the stairs Let's go grab Chris. Jill. Chris, you're okay. Glad to see you are too. Anything on this guy? We'll talk later. First, let's get going. Yay. Anyway, not much else to talk about really, just want to focus on getting out, completing the game. Got a little tip actually for you, I read about it online, I don't know if it's actually true. But it'd be nice if it was. I thought I heard something. Must be my imagination. Okay. Right. Um, actually, what I've got. Gonna need plenty of those. We take that. Yeah, because I don't have as much magnum ammo as I usually do at this point. So I still have to I got all the done all that. Yeah, I think we're good. Apparently, something I read online. An apparent tip. I'm not going to do it because I prefer to do things sort of properly, I suppose. The final fight against the tyrant, you obviously you've got the timer ticking down, and if you don't kill the tyrant quick enough, Brad will automatically kick the rocket launcher out of the helicopter at like 30 seconds or something. So if you don't use the flares 
until like um, you know until you've got like 40 seconds left on the timer then um, he'll automatically kick the rocket launcher straight out of the helicopter almost immediately and you can go ahead and kill the tyrant I haven't tried it but it sounds like it would work damn it we're almost there Jill you just hit in contact with Brad no we can make it Jill ladies first Chris would you let me have my moments too all right we'll rendezvous at the heliport yay let's do it On the home stretch, I really, really, really hope I don't fuck up at the last moment. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have fucking said that. Yes, I would like to take the six more. It works. Jill, you made it. So did he, unfortunately. Surprise. Hello. That just took off 500 points of my health. Oh crap. Let's do that again. That took off even more of my health. Considering there's supposed to be like a helicopter standing right in front of you, or hovering over you, how the hell is his voice that clear? Whoa! Get up. Here, have a rocket. Woo! First time! See, usually he knocks it away. I guess he didn't see it coming. I do like the fact that they gave him the ability to knock the rocket launcher away. That was like the first time that happened. I was like, oh shit, you can do that. But if you're quick enough, you can do a second one straight off. So it's not a problem. Yes, I fucking did it. Oh my God. Oh God, I need to stretch. Oh, I've been sat on my ass for nearly two and a half. Uh, two and a half, three and a half. I wish fucking two and a half. Three and a half hours. Christ. By the way, remember how I said about the ticking timer? It's still ticking. I'm watching it right now. All these stats and everything I've got up here. <laughs> still ticking. I haven't done the under three hours. This is going to be about three and a quarter, I think. Um, anyway, we're, we're pretty good. I'll, I'll watch through the credits and you can enjoy that. Wow, another let's play. Done, and I didn't fuck up. <laughs> oh dear god. I didn't fuck up. Oh god, that was that that was that was the thing. I actually managed to get through without ballsing it up. Mm. You know, personally I really like the music from the end theme of Resident Evil One, that what was it called? Still Dawn or something. That that was a good piece of music, but um Yay, there it was. Resident Evil 1 Remake slash HD Remaster. Uh, that's going to be one hell of a title when I put it on the uh, YouTube thing. I'm sure I'll um, find a way to shorten it down. Oh, so, another one done. Anyway, uh, obviously, you know, pretty much done. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see what I got at the end of it. Like I said, the time is still ticking, so it's, it's definitely over three hours. Um, but I got under three. The thing is, if you want to get it under three hours, skip the cutscenes. 
And definitely don't worry about getting under three hours first playthrough. Okay, get the uh, special handgun. Because that'll save you some time. Um, and, um, you know, just skip every single cutscene. I didn't skip the cutscenes because I was letting you watch them. I know I skipped a few, but those were the, really the pointless ones. But I, I let, uh, to be honest, most of the ones I skipped were because I went to press the skip button before I could stop myself. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, thank you all for watching. Please, please, please check out Breaking Ponies. Um, it's really just a podcast. Just something to stick on in the background while you're doing other things. You know, me and Zero, we just just talk absolute bollocks for three quarters of an hour, really. Whilst also talking about My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and Breaking Bad. If you haven't seen either of the shows, maybe give the first couple of episodes a listen to and decide if you want to actually watch the show or not. For the record, I would recommend both shows. They are very, very good. Hey, see, look, there we go. 3-19-03. No ink ribbons. I killed 60... I only killed 65 creatures? I suppose there's not that many creatures, are there? I fired 178 things and I used 11 herbs. That's not too bad. Let's be, honest, let's be honest, most of those herbs were used in the last boss fight. Used three of the bloody things. So, yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, hopefully I'll be coming up with another um, <laughs> another uh, Let's Play soon. I don't know if I'll do another one between now and the next game. I actually plan to play if I do another spontaneous one like this was. Um, I might do, I might not. I don't know. It depends on when the game comes out. Uh, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you whenever next time, I guess. Thanks, and goodbye.